What up everyone, it's the Evil Collector back at you with another action figure review. Today's review is with the G.I. Joe Classified Retro Duke and I was so happy to finally get him in the mail today from Amazon. A little disappointed with this, but you know what? Not the figure, but the, the delivery of Amazon, the package he gave me, because uh, it has a little, small little ding, which I'm happy I'm not an inbox collector because uh, it would suck. But yeah, this is, so this is it. This is a Duke right here. Looking awesome with accessories. We'll definitely take a dive in that. Here's an image of him on the back. You get his file card. You want to read it? I'm going to put it right here. Pause it right there. Super dope. One of the leaders of G.I. Joe. Here's the rest of the characters from the wave, which I'm waiting for Scarlet to be shipped. And I'm not getting Bacondo. I don't really care for Wakondo. And uh, if you're looking for Duke, here's a UPC. Pause it right there. And then all this yada 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 down here. And this is what I'm talking about. This. Look at this. Oh, man. But good thing I'm not an inbox collector because this is an inbox collector's nightmare to receive this. And you're like, oh, my God. I can't hang on the work correct. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get Duke out the package and let's see what he's all about. So here we have Duke out the box and man, I love it already. I'm so happy I got I picked this up like when I did and I have Duke to add to my collection. I do have the Wave 1 Duke from the Classified series, but we'll go ahead and compare that when we do the comparing side. But let's check out all his accessories, man. He comes with a plethora of them. So he comes with these two guns. Let me put this light on just to give you some more brightness. Those two guns, which are pretty cool. Dope. And it's not bended or nothing, so, or gummy pretty solid i mean maybe it could have been a little more solid but not bad and he comes with this other one right here well this has a little bend this way i gotta maybe tweak it up a little but yeah man pretty cool pretty cool gun i don't know why they don't just make them black you know like so it'd be like real rifles and here's his binoculars pretty cool it goes around his neck not bad at all and then we have a little knife he comes with the detailing is pretty cool. Nice. And then we got a little, what's it, like a nine maybe? Or like a Glock. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not bad at all. Comes with his helmet. The visor comes down too. Wow, that's freaking awesome. The visor does come down. But yeah, man, so he comes with his little helmet, which is pretty dope. And it's translucent. So you can see right through it. Nice. And then he comes with another set of hands, fisted hands. You need them to throw it down. Some fistic fisticups, what do they call them? <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Then it also comes with a display uh, to hold his feet up. You can stick them on there for the shelf. A stand, there you go, a display stand with the G.I. Joe logo, of course. We all get these with all the good guys and the bad guys have a Cobra. And then his backpack he comes with, which is pretty cool. Uh, beige, not like the other one from the Series 1. And he has a little saying on there. Let me see if I can put it right there. With a, I don't know if I can read it right. I don't know if I turn this light off. Would it help? No, it doesn't. Well, man, I can't even read it myself. I need one of those uh, eye doctor charts from the eye doctor app. But I mean, that's pretty cool. And of course, the man in the hour, Duke. So let's go ahead and um, check him out real quick. He looks really cool. Definitely a good head scope. I like the United States flag right there. Um, looking really cool. This loose little banner on his weight, on his chest. Detail is really good. They really killed this one. This one's really a really good Duke. I'm happy we they added this one, the right one from the 80s. The original G.I. Joe Duke. Not Maverick Duke. But let's go ahead and check out his articulation, right? So um, Duke looks up. This much, looks down that much. Head moves all the way around. It's on the ball peg. So that's pretty good. Shoulder movements all the way around. He has butterfly joints, which is super awesome. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a little tight, but they move. Pinless, wrist swivel with the hinge, good. Waist movement, it's on the ball peg, so it moves really good. This side, the thigh waist moves really good. Does the splits about this much if you need Duke to do the splits? This much. Oh, that has a little hinge right there, so that's pretty cool. You could lower it down to put them in the 
kick spot. So he kicks up about that much. Kicks back. This much. Man, look at his foot hits his back. Back foot. Upper thigh swivel was good. Double jointed knees, as we see right here. And like I said, upper thigh swivel was moves really good. He has an upper boot cut. And then uh, with, uh, ankle swivel with the rocker. And there we go, man. We got ourselves Mr. Duke. The Duke of Hazard. I just played on the Duke of Hazard. He's the Duke of G.I. Joe. Pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and stick this knife in here already. Stick it down there. This little, little Glock goes into this piece right here. That looks dope. His backpack will go on right here. Like so. The helmet fits on him. Pretty good with the visor. In case he gets going to get dust in his eye. Pretty cool, man. So I really want them. I want to put on the guns and all that right now, but I just want to check them out. Take this all off for now, but let's go ahead and size comparison with him to his counterpart, the modernized Duke. Which, I mean, this one's still a good figure. Don't get me wrong. The first one from Series 1 is really good. Dope figure. Um, I just love the old one, man. The old one, the old school one just fits perfectly. That's Duke for me, you know? Another comparisons, we'll put Destro from the Retro Wave as well. And I love them, man. They all look great on them. We'll move this dude to the back. We can go play some WrestleFest. And, um, yeah, man. So, that's a Duke with uh, Red, uh, Destro. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, other um, line comparisons from the other lines. I'm going to put in here uh, Red Skull. You know, because they fight against the, the Jawmans. The Jawmans, man. And then we got my newly acquired... Uh, Retro Iron Man from the animated series, which I really dig. I was able to get him on Amazon for a good price, so I definitely picked him up. And I did pick up, um, yep, there he is, War Machine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, so uh, one more, let's go ahead and do one more comparison. We'll do one of my favorites from NECA, Robocop. Murphy. And uh, yeah, so Murphy is obviously the tower him, but you can actually put him in the, with them trying to capture Red Skull or whatever, man. But uh, yeah, man, so my little review real quick from the Retro Duke from G.I. Joe. Happy to finally have him in a collection. Uh, definitely, um, in my opinion, he's a must-have because he's, one, he's uh, one of the poster boys for G.I. Joe for the 80s. Um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think. If you're going to pick him up to add him to your collection or you're going to pass on him or, or you just don't collect him, that's fine. If you just want to see this review and just hang out with me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell for more evil content coming out. Take care, my peeps, and evil out. Like and subscribe to the Evil Collector channel and hit the notification bell for more content.